Ah, we're back at it again! Some good old beta stuff from The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. The game where the hero Link is in the sea scattered with 49 islands. And what it also has is a lot of unused content. So today we're going to take a look at some of the models and animations that didn't make it into the game. Let's start straight away. First we're going to take a look at Maggie, the poor girl of Windfall Island, who was then kidnapped and taken to the Forsaken Fortress by the Helmarok King. And later on in the game, she became rich. However, she has an unused animation for her poor model. Normally you can't talk to Maggie while she is poor, as she only appears during cutscenes. Although it is possible to talk to her in one of the character test maps, but it doesn't trigger this animation. The fact that the animation exists suggests that either she wasn't supposed to be kidnapped until sometime before the second Forsaken Fortress trip, or that you could talk to her during her fortress imprisonment. But what it at least comes down to is that her role in the game was supposed to be bigger, but was scrapped extremely early on. The animation is seen nowhere, there is only the file as evidence. That makes it especially interesting. Maybe the plans for her were different in the beginning. Anything is possible to be honest. Now another unused animation that is found in the files is one from the pose. But this isn't the only thing. This animation is from an early version of the enemy that looks extremely ugly to be honest. Most of the model is missing textures and only the hands and the model have them. And for some reason the hands use the same texture as the face. This model has at least one animation called weight.bck. As expected, the animation makes the Poe model hover in place, as if it's waiting. The texture on the face looks extremely low resolution, and the model doesn't really look like the final version. It doesn't even have legs. So clearly it went through a lot of changes, and I don't know what they were planning with this design, but it was a great choice to not go through with it. Now let's move on to some unused items and objects, since there are also quite a number of those. First, the waterfall gate. Judging by the symbol plastered across it, this gate and waterfall were meant to appear in the Tower of the Gods. The second half of the dungeon is blocked off with waterfalls until a puzzle is solved in the final game. So it seems likely this gate was an early version of those. They ended up using some sort of mouth for it. So they probably thought that something like that looked better than a waterfall gate. And so they replaced it and it does look better. So it was a good move. Now in the Wind Waker, we see some birds flying around every now and then, but we only see one type, the seagull. But they were actually planning to put more types into the game, and there's even a model of one of them. This little bird cannot be found in normal maps, but does appear to be mostly working in-game. It flies and lands on Link's head, although it doesn't do this flawlessly. They look really cool and would have been a great addition to the game, and they're almost fully functional, so it's weird that they were scrapped. Maybe there were problems with the disk space, since they planned a lot for this game, but ran into that problem at one point. Which would be a shame, since they look good and are quite interesting. We don't see any other reason why they would scrap them. There seems to be no problem, so we will leave it at that. Another interesting thing found in the files is an early version of Fado, the Sage of Wind, and this one is a bit odd. It is strange for a version of the character to be located in demo45.arc, as Link hasn't even met the Sage of Wind by the point in the story at which this cutscene is triggered. This incarnation of Fado differs from his final appearance in that he bears a much stronger resemblance to Saria. His hair is green, his eyes are open, and his sleeves are more reminiscent of his sister Sage from Ocarina of Time. A comparison of the early and final model's main textures reveal that there is only one difference between them. A square in the top center that has become lighter, as such, the sleeve design used by Fado's early model goes unused in the final. While the animated texture files attached to the model no longer function correctly, there are textures for blinking, looking left, and looking right. There are placeholder textures where one would expect to find his other eye or mouth textures, suggesting that there was still work to be done in this model at the time it was cut. Now the thing that baffles us is the fact that it's placed in a part of the files that takes place before you meet him in the final game. So does this imply that Fado was meant to appear more early on in the game? Well, who knows? We can't really be sure about it, since only the placement in the files hints towards this. If this was true though, then a lot had to change. Since then the entire Sage's quest would have been moved, or they would have completely replaced Fado with someone else. But who would that be, and what role would Fado then serve? Well, we don't know, and this is pure speculation. Now for our last model, we have a little weird bonus. It was most likely never planned to appear in the game, but it's still fun. 
this. A hat with glasses. Quite possibly the strangest unused model in the game. The only thing we can really think of is that this is one of the programmers. But one thing's for sure, it's very weird and silly, but developers gotta have their fun every now and then as well. Its texture has a high resolution and odd shading which is absolutely unfitting for the art style of the game. So that's all for now, but as you can see, The Wind Waker has some extremely weird and interesting stuff. However, despite all this removed content and the many changes they made, the game is still amazing. Thank you for watching and please make sure to hit that button in the middle to subscribe. Or you could always check our other videos to catch up on what you might have missed.